What's up everybody, Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and you are watching Ojeda Live. Countdown achieved. It's time for Ojeda Live. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Ojeda Live. We got Roy Pillavar on here from Jupiter, Florida. We got Ainsley Matter from Dallas, Texas. We got my secret squirrel, David Weaver, with us. Shelly Gabish with her blue waves from Wisconsin. We got Sandra Mello on here. We got Doyle Johnson from the Bahamas. Uh, I'll be heading to uh, Puerto Rico here in a couple of days, Joy, uh, Doyle. Uh, but next time I get to the Bahamas, we need to link up. Joseph Lacey from Las Vegas. Donna Markham is with us. Ed Russell is here. Patricia Sooms is here. Richard Metz from Parkersburg, West Virginia. Kenneth Polly from Virginia is with us. Monica Sue Phillips from Kentucky. Dash Erickson, Teamsters Local 710 is with us. We got Glenda Odom on here from Tennessee. Welcome to the show, Glenda. We got Alan Bravo with us. We got Jennifer Peck. We got Alan, uh, sorry. Uh, we got Sharon Harder from Wisconsin. John Felder is with us. From Philadelphia, from Germany, uh, local 1291. Uh, Kelly Duncan from Illinois. We got Constance Sims on here with the Blue Hearts. We got Rebecca Allen from Eastern Kentucky. We got Sharon Tensher with her Blue Waves. Wanda Woy is with us from Pennsylvania. Glenna Marley, uh, CWA6012, retired. Uh, welcome to the show, Glenna. Uh, and uh, Anna Lanny is with us. And Fabio Romero, Jr., and Chili Willie, make sure you're hitting them thumbs up. Make sure you're hitting those hearts because they matter. And make sure that we share this video. We are actually about 80 people away from the 122,500. Uh, or no, no, I think it's 130. We're 130 away. So we got to continue working that. We got to hit those milestones, folks. We got to find people to follow OJ Live because the more people that follow OJ Live, the more people we get to educate. And that's a fact. And the, speaking of education, and educating people, a major development in Florida. And this is great news. Now, understand that Florida is filled with a bunch of Trump balloons. Uh, but there's also people that are tired of his bullshit. And the truth is, there's a significant amount of people that are leaving Florida, specifically because of the environment down there. I, I remember going down there during COVID and people telling me, you don't need to wear a mask here. We have, we have DeSantis. Really, people are dying. And oh, by the way, dying in Florida more than any other state uh, at one point. Because why? Because they had DeSantis. And they didn't think that freaking they needed the social distance. And they didn't think that they needed to wear a mask. And they didn't think that they didn't blah, 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 ends up losing people and dying. But what's happening here is that there are going to be two things that are going to be on the ballot. And let me tell you something, this is very, very dangerous for the Republican Party because they don't want this. But make no mistake about it. Right now, there are ballot initiatives on codifying Roe v. Wade in the state uh, constitution to basically state that women will be able to maintain their right to have the ability to make decisions about their own body. And let me tell you something. This is now on the ballot. What this means is that every single woman in Florida should be going to the polls on election day, and they should be going to the polls to make Donald Trump and even Ron DeSantis pay for what they have done. You have literally put women in the crosshairs and said that they do not deserve the right to be able to speak about their body. Show me one piece of legislation that says a man does not be, get to be in control of anything that's his body. That's where we're at. And also on the ballot, which is going to be a ballot initiative, it's legalizing marijuana. So between legalizing marijuana and codifying Roe v. Wade, you're going to have a group of people that are going to the polls with the ferocity. We've got plenty of people out there that likes cannabis. We've got plenty of people out there know that today... Cannabis is nowhere near as bad as the way it was always painted it to be. You know, uh, reefer madness. You smoke a marijuana cigarette, next thing you know, you're jumping out of your third story window of your of your school. Uh, I mean, we all remember the after school specials and stupid shit like this. I mean, I saw a great thing. It was talking about that one group uh, that had like screech and all them. And it was like, never forget 
the uh, the episode where they talked about the dangers of caffeine, which is kind of funny. But the truth is, is that legalizing marijuana, you've got a significant amount of people out there that absolutely want it. First and foremost, everybody, if, if you've never smoked marijuana, I recommend that you try. It's actually pretty freaking damn good. It is uh, great to help you to be able to sleep. There's just calming mechanisms. It's it's just really, really good. But understand that you've got a lot of people out there that will not vote. They don't give a shit. But when you stick ballot initiatives on the ballot and you say you can vote for marijuana and you can also vote to give women the right to choose, let me tell you something. This is going to bring out a significant group of people. And make no mistake about it, they're not going to go out there and vote for the asshole who took abortion away. They're not going to vote for anybody out there that's trying to basically push uh, anything anti-cannabis. And once again, these people that are going to show up to vote for cannabis, they're going to automatically vote for women's rights. I don't know why, but I just think that that's the type of person. You know, you can talk all the garbage you want to talk, but at the end of the day, cannabis absolutely is phenomenal. It has been used for thousands of years to heal people. We know that it helps people that struggle with things like post-traumatic stress disorder. And there are so many people out there that struggle with PTSD. It's not just soldiers. You show me a firefighter. You show me a firefighter that's done that job for 10 years. I'm going to show you somebody who has horrible dreams at night. Show me a police officer who has had to basically uh, help retrieve dead children from cars and, and all kinds of other horrible things. Police officers, firefighters, they see things that nobody should ever have to see. And I'm going to tell you right now, uh, cannabis can help with the anxieties and all things like that. And once again, everybody has started to realize that cannabis was all a lie in terms of just trying to, you know, they were basically wanting to sell alcohol. Cannabis is better than alcohol. Cannabis doesn't give you uh, hangovers. Cannabis is not as expensive. Uh, and once again, cannabis doesn't make you want to fist fight everybody in the friggin' bar. Uh, cannabis makes you want to just chill out. Makes you want to chill out, listen to music, and eat some damn Doritos. That's a fact. But these things on the ballot are going to boost the Democrat candidates across the state. All the Democrats that are running on the down ballots, uh, that's why this is so important. And with this on the ballots, I'm telling you, there's a lot of people that will probably be voting for the Democrats in Florida and we could actually maybe flip some seats. I'm sure we will. Uh, but let me tell you something. Making marijuana legalized across the state, that's a big friggin' deal. A big, big deal. And, of course, Roe v. Wade, without a doubt. Trump's truth social is collapsing on the stock market following the release of the company's financials, showing the company had revenues of just $4.1 million and a loss of $58 million. So let that sink in. What they saw was they saw that Truth Social is absolutely tanking on the stock market. And in the beginning, they said, this is going to put $6 billion in Donald Trump's pocket. It's already lost like $4 billion. And once again, it's going to continue going in that direction because when you look at the company's financials, you start to realize that these people don't know what the fuck they're doing. These people don't know what they're talking about. They don't know how to run these type of entities. And once again, it's not like I'm a professional expert at it. But once again, you know, Donald Trump is trying to act like Truth Social is the greatest thing in the world. First and foremost, the only reason why Truth Social exists is because Donald Trump got kicked off of every other platform. So he starts Truth Social. Look, I mean, the only people that are tuning into Truth Social are a bunch of poorly educated friggin' dingbats and Donald Trump. You got a couple other entities that will pay attention to Truth Social just so they can post Donald Trump's meltdowns that he has every night. But in 2023, with its user base and revenue in decline for every single quarter, folks, understand, when we're talking financials, we're talking about the history of Truth Social with their finances. And the truth is, is that Truth Social is not making money. It's losing money. 
it made $4.1 million, but lost 58. So that is a $54 million loss. And you know what? Companies, when they look at something and they go, what? Losing money like that? No, thank you. At first, I thought I might buy some stock, but now I realize it's tanking. And if I, if I buy that stock, all I'm going to do is sit back and watch my money disappear. It's outstanding. They said he could get as much as $6 billion, but that didn't take long to shit the bed. And that's exactly what Truth Social has done. Truth Social has shit the bed. So you think Trump is a success? Well, if that's the case, then what did Trump water do? Remember that? When Trump basically put his name on just regular water, and then, of course, because he put his name on it, did it become the greatest water to ever be drank? Yeah, once again, any water, any water that comes to the United States of America is probably far from the greatest water. I'm going to tell you, if you go to Interlaken, Switzerland, and you're standing on a bridge overlooking the river, a big river, and it's absolute blue water. It's that damn clean. Yeah. But I digress. What about Trump media? Truth Social. Truth Social has lost $4 billion. As soon as it hit the stock market, it's shitting the bed. What about Trump vodka? Where Donald Trump said it's the finest vodka known to man. Bullshit. It tanked. Because why? Because they took cheap vodka. They took Papa vodka and then stuck Trump's name on it. It's no different than the Trump shoes. They took this one pair of friggin' ugly ass shoes that literally would merit an ass whooping if I wore a pair of shoes like that to school when I was a kid. And once again, they, they're not selling a lot of friggin' shoes. Very few. And oh, by the way, people have already pretty much forgot it. Donald Trump will literally hawk anything that's got his name on it. And the fat, sad part about it is, is he doesn't care what the quality of it is. He'll tell everybody it's the greatest quality in the world. But the truth is, is it all sucks. Trump steaks, greatest piece of meat ever. Trump steaks sucked. They sucked. Trump airlines. Nope. Screw that shit up too. Trump casinos. How do you bankrupt a damn casino? But make no mistake about it, Donald Trump did. Trump University, it was tanked. It was also proven that all of the blocks of instruction that Donald Trump said was the best in the world was literally stolen from other friggin' uh, universities and used as if they come they, they were they were you know came up with under Trump University. And of course, Trump's marriages all fail. And make no mistake about it, if you think that Melania Trump is not uh, on her way out, you're so deeply mistaken. I'm going to tell you that Melania is going to cut ties with him. Melania, if she's smart, she's going to file for divorce and try to get whatever she can. Because every day we get closer and closer to that son of a bitch losing everything. And it's going to freaking happen, folks. It is going to happen. There's going to come a time. In 100 years, they're going to be looking at this time and they're going to be teaching kids about the dangers of electing people that are corrupt, that have no integrity whatsoever, have no morals, no values. They're just all about money. They're all about always winning and doing whatever they have to do to win, no matter how low they have to go. You know, you may think that that's a great potential for somebody that's maybe on a football team, but that's not potential for somebody who is leading, leading, and I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's leading a freaking platoon, a company, uh, uh, it doesn't matter. You know, as a leader, there are certain things that you are expected. And uh, Donald Trump has none of the traits, the values of a leader. That's an absolute fact. New polling shows that Joe Biden has totally erased Donald Trump's advantage among voters 65 and up. So let that sink in. At one time, and let me tell you something. Do you know why Donald Trump has always done very well with the people that are old, the 65 and over? And the reason for that is because 
a lot of them that are old like that, remember, the life expectancy of a black man is only 69 years of age. A black woman is only 70. But Donald Trump used to have all this connection with the elderly crowd. They liked him because a lot of old people are also friggin' racist people. They, they, they don't want to act like they are, but the truth is, is they come dur up during a time when there were separate water fountains and bathrooms and uh, black people had to sit in the back of the bus and all this stuff. But Joe Biden has erased the lead that Donald Trump had. And the reason why is because Joe Biden is the one that says that he wants to uh, basically make uh, uh, Social Security uh, for everything. He's also uh, wanting to leave the ages at 65 for you to start retiring. And, of course, we know that uh, Donald Trump wants to kill Social Security and Medicaid. So, I mean, what do you do? When you're 65 years old and you know that you desperately need uh, your retirement, you desperately need your Social Security, you don't want to have to wait until you're 70. If you're 63 years old and you're already looking at potentially being ready to put your hands on that money that you're finally going to get, that you paid into your entire adult life, and now they're talking about basically pushing the date back, what you going to do about that? You're going to vote against those assholes. That's what's happening. That's the great thing about all this, is that the reason why the older generation are now looking towards Joe Biden it's because Joe Biden has said, I'm going to basically keep Social Security at 65. And I'm not going to let nobody mess with Medicare, Medicaid, or Social Security. And that is enough because, once again, you're talking about the livelihood of elderly people. If you take away their ability to draw for Social Security, in many cases, a lot of these people, you know, if you didn't join the military, there's very few places that you get to retire and start drawing your retirement. You got to wait until you're 65 years old. And now they're trying to raise that to 70. But once again, it's also when you can file for your Social Security. And at the end of the day, once again, your retirement plus your Social Security is what is supposed to be able to make you live the rest of your life happy without worry that you're going to starve to death or lose uh, your home and all that stuff. And once again, Donald Trump is going after all that while Joe Biden is protecting it. This is not a good sign at all for the Donald Trump campaign. It's not. If he's losing the 65 and older, let me tell you something, Donald Trump, Don, the only the only youth vote that Donald Trump is getting are those poor, redneck, uh, friggin' poorly educated white guys that like to drive around with big trucks with metal balls hanging on the back. Uh, all of these people are most likely colossal pussies behind the scene. Uh, they're going to act like they're all that in the bag of chips and badasses and stuff. But the truth is, is most of them, most of them are too damn chicken shit and don't have what it takes, period. But yeah, those are the Trump supporters. And at the end of the day, if you're still a Trump supporter by now, there is nothing that you can say that tells me that you're an intelligent person. If you're still a Donald Trump supporter now, after all of his grift, after all of his crimes that he's been caught doing, after stealing documents, after doing all kinds of shit, if you still think that Donald Trump is the greatest, you are a poorly educated person who doesn't research, probably doesn't know how to fucking read above a third grade level, which is another reason why you like Trump. And that's where we're at, folks, and it's sad. And I tell you, I hope people wake their asses up. Because we ain't got much time to sit around here and wait for you people to freaking educate yourselves. April 1st, today's the third, but April 1st, Russia lost 710 troops. Folks, 700 troops is a battalion. Russia is losing a battalion every single day. Every day. And if you think about that, they've been at war now for over two years. And in the last six months, it has been consistent. It is, I mean, well, hell, actually... It's dropped below a thousand. It was literally a thousand a day for months. These are actually low numbers, but it's still an entire battalion killed in action. 17 armored personnel carriers, 35 wheel vehicles, 20 more tanks was destroyed, 32 artillery systems, 26 UAVs, and more. And folks, they took an ass whooping today, too. Uh, Judge expands Donald Trump's gag order. This is good news. 
because Donald Trump absolutely is trying everything in his power to cause the court cases to, to, to fail, to try to get things thrown out. That's what Donald Trump and them are doing right now. Right now, they're trying right now to postpone the uh, Alvin Bragg hush money because they know that that case right there has the potential to be done long before the election. And if Donald Trump is found guilty and he's going to be found guilty, uh, he can be removed from the ballot. And that's why Donald Trump and them are doing everything in their power to try to push this off. But judge expands the gag order after the ex-president's social media posts about the judge's daughter. Now, look, folks, once again, once again, I, I get so sick and tired of listening to these Trump supporters talk about Donald Trump being a godly man. But most important is when they say Donald Trump knows everything. He's always one step ahead of him. He's the smartest man that ever was a president. First and foremost, those people are freaking morons. And Donald Trump is the last, most least educated. I mean, look, there's like a fourth thing. It was like uh, 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 Jimmy Carter studied friggin' like spaceship. You know, he was in the Navy. He was like a pilot. Uh, Bill Clinton was, uh, uh, I think, a Yale grad. Uh, Obama was 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 over top of the Harvard, you know, law. These amazing things. And this got a picture of Donald Trump. You know, it's fucking, uh, you know, he, he, can, he can count to friggin', you know, uh, six, only if he pulls his friggin' pants down. Yeah, that's kind of bullshit. The poorly educated wannabe mobster is about to find his orange ass in trouble if he keeps pushing this envelope. You know, this, and he did it again today. So they already had to fix the gag order and make it stronger. And Donald Trump has already come out and friggin' basically stepped on his crime. So I, I, this is really messed up. Why are they continuing to give this motherfucker a pass? Put his ass in jail. You know, they reduced the bond from 565 to $175 million. And that's bullshit. Because they wouldn't do that for anybody else. But they're doing this garbage shit for Donald Trump. I don't give a shit about Donald Trump. He's guilty. Prosecute him. Put his ass in friggin' prison. And let's get on with our fucking lives. Donald Trump is going to go down as a friggin' stain on our democracy. The, the, the calendar, this, his time in the friggin' Oval Office is going to have a fucking asterisk, a, 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 an asterisk next to it. Because you're going to click that to hear all the bullshit. Because it's not just a normal presidency. It's four years of him accomplishing nothing and friggin' uh, uh, people dying, over 1.3 million people dying because he tried to monetize. Absolute garbage. He's a dumbass. To a literally, to literally attack the one person that decides your fate. Folks, who on their earth, who in their right mind would think that, you know what, I know what I need to do in this court case. I'm going to pick a fight with the judge. I'm going to pick a fight. I'm going to call him all kinds of names. I'm going to start down. I'm going to start ripping, going after his family. I'm going to post pictures of his daughter because that's what Donald Trump has been doing. How Christ-like of him! Wow, that's so that's so Jesus of Donald Trump that he would automatically attack the children of the judge because Jesus would have done that. Of course, of course. Donald Trump may be the dumbest person on the face of the friggin' earth. And this motherfucker's running for damn gov for, for president. And we've got people out there that will vote for this friggin' shit stain. When I say we deserve better, folks, we deserve much better. That's a fact. Trump is told to bring his toothbrush to court because if he violated the gag order, he's going to jail. Well, he violated it. Did he go to jail? Probably not. It sounds good. She told him, bring your toothbrush because if you step on your crank, we're putting you in friggin' behind bars. But they're not really going to. And the truth is, is they should. Anybody else, they would. But Donald Trump continues to get a pass. The most dangerous man on the friggin' planet towards our democracy is the one that gets all the breaks. You can't make this stupid shit up. All right, John, show us the video first, and then we'll do memes of the day. His loved ones and community are left grieving for this incredible young woman, remembering what they 
called her. They said she had just this most contagious laughter. And when she walked into a room, she lit up that room. And I've heard that from so many people. I spoke to some of her family. He did not speak with any of us. So it was um, kind of shocking seeing that he had said that he had spoke with us and, you know, um, saying, well, misinforming people um, live TV. Shocking. You know, I kind of stopped watching it. I I only seen up to that uh, after I heard, um, you know, a couple of um, misinformation that he has said. So imagine losing a loved one and then you see Donald Trump acting as if he has called and spoke to the family. Folks, he lied. He lied. Donald Trump trying to capitalize and literally lying about speaking with the family. And of course, but Donald Trump, in Donald Trump's world, Donald Trump gets away with that kind of shit. You know, isn't that sad that this young girl and that family who has literally lost a loved one has to sit and watch Donald Trump lying about their loved one that was killed and trying to do it in a way to make him look like He's a hero, a good person. I called the family. No, he didn't. Donald Trump didn't call the family. He just lied about it and said he called the family because that's what liars do. He lies. Sad. All right, let's see, in the, see our memes of the day, John. Hunter's laptop! Hunter's laptop! I always kind of thought the Antichrist would be charismatic, charming, handsome, and a skilled liar. And yet here we are. He's old, ugly, fat, and wears a dead tribble on his friggin' head. Heck, he's not even a convincing liar. That's a fact. That is a fact. You know, it amazes me. You know, all these people that want to act like Donald Trump was sent by God, you know, first off, to still be believing that after all of his actions shows you how stupid people are but I mean goodness gracious I mean if that's the if, if Donald Trump Trump is the second coming of Christ we're all fucked fact all right let's see that one immunity denied Justice Juan Merchant has denied Donald Trump's motion for presidential immunity and it's entirely as untimely the ruling comes as a blow to Trump's legal defense strategy and attempts to avoid going to trial in his criminal case in New York, where he faces charges of falsifying business records. This is a big deal, folks. This is a big deal. This is finally a judge saying, I'm sorry, but no. And oh, by the way, this is the judge that Donald Trump has posted pictures of his daughter. Now, how stupid do you have to be? Because make no mistake about it, Donald Trump's going to be found guilty. The evidence is all there. And this is the guy that has to then weigh the evidence and then decide what type of penalty. So what type of moron says, let's throw stones at the guy that gets to choose how much time I spend in friggin' prison? That's your Donald Trump. And if you think that that man is smart, you, you are the type of person that has to pick up a pile of dog shit and give it a taste test before you tell people, don't step there. It's shit. Let's see that. It will never not be hilarious that over 300 insurrectionists have been turned in by their ex-wives. That's great. That is absolutely great. And once again, folks, we have until January for us to turn these people in so that they can be prosecuted and it's no longer outside of the statute of limitations. So everybody go type in FBI January 6th photographs. So I'm going to type in and you'll go to a web page where you can scroll through every single picture and you never know. You may find somebody standing there that you think is a complete and utter shit stain and who better to call and report. Yeah, report these freaking assholes because the truth is, is that's exactly what they deserve. All right, folks, that's our 30 minutes. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Uh, get ready to go to Puerto Rico here in a couple of days. I got a buddy of mine that's going with me. And uh, he's he's coming here for a couple of days. So uh, I still got some stuff ready. I'm ready for tomorrow night's live. So we're going to go live while I'm here. And I'm still planning on going live when I get to uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, we're on the same time scale. So it's not a big deal there. So I'm going to be doing my commercials there. It's not a big deal. Everything's going to be going to be done. So uh, 
it's going to all be good, folks. Uh, and I always enjoy going on these trips. And like I said, I'm hitting, uh, I'm going to go to Puerto Rico for about five days. And then I'm taking off next month. I'm going to be all over Europe for 25 days. I'm going to drive everywhere. No planes, trains, and automobiles. It's just a car. We're going to take uh, two ferries. Uh, and I'm telling you, the ferries in Europe are literally cruise ships. I'm telling you, they are cruise ships. Uh, it's always an awesome trip, and I always enjoy it. All right, folks, y'all be good to each other, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Sappers through the way, airborne all the way. Hot 10, hot 10.